At first glance, it looks like a home improvement project, but Jeanette and Dan are actually building their future home. But we were always watching these tiny house shows and property shows. We were, we've always wanted a little bit of land of our own. But it's not just about moving into a tiny home for Jeanette and Dan. They're also starting their own company. We're now just embarking on a new adventure uh, where we use uh, goats to mitigate invasive weeds. So it's an organic form of weed management. And because of this new business adventure, uh, we are actually going from site to site and we need to be uh, present with the goats at all times. We don't use fences, we just use horses and dogs. And that's led us to deciding to build a tiny house. The couple was living in a four bedroom house, working nine to five jobs when the idea came up of leaving it all behind to start an organic weed management company. Our whole days as working professionals are just it became more and more and more. So at least this way, if we're incorporating our lives into our work, um, we can establish that balance and, um, and just really be a part and live passionately instead of just, this is who I am now and then this is who I am in, in eight hours. Try our best to be totally off the grid. We'll have uh, connections that we could hook up to utilities uh, if we were in a certain area that had, had the water or power nearby. The couple admits there will be challenges, but at the end of the day, an adventure. It's what it is. I mean, I've been here a long time too, so I've, I've put a lot of roots down and, and uh, haven't moved around too much. So just moving in general is, is a big step for me. So uh, it'll be a, it'll be an adventure for sure. As nice as all these things are, wouldn't it be so much simpler to just let it go? And the first, we threw an estate sale and the first day was a little nerve wracking watching all of your most valued possessions walk out the door and, and thinking, oh gosh, I paid so much for that and you're kind of seeing it go. But by the end of the day, I, there was this huge sense of relief that just came over me of, oh, I don't actually have to worry about storing that or, or maintaining or taking care of those things anymore. And, and it did start to feel easier and easier as, as the week went on. And so these are going to be the Douglas fur shop. So it's kind of more a whole, a whole holistic approach. Um, and if we're going to be standing and trying to bring uh, a non-toxic weed management program to the world, I'd want my life to reflect that and, and, and to live that holistically. Yeah. For Go, I'm Kate Hutchinson.